A well-bred St. Bernard is calm, relaxed, and sensible. That is, an adult St. Bernard is calm, relaxed, and sensible. Young saints are as boisterous and bouncy and silly as any other breed and must be patiently taught not to jump and not to run around indoors. All St. Bernards need space and deserve a roomy home with a spacious fenced yard in the suburbs or country. This breed needs daily exercise, whether he seems to want it or not, to stay fit, although long daily walks will do, along with regular opportunities to stretch out and lope around. Most saints love to romp in the snow, and pulling a cart or carrying a backpack gives him a purpose in life. Companionship is of prime importance to this sociable breed. Left alone too much, he becomes dispirited and destructive. With strangers, most saints are relaxed and accepting, but some individuals are more outgoing, while others are more introspective and standoffish. Because of the breed's size and strength, he requires early and frequent excursions into the world so that he grows up to trust, or at least respect, other people. Unfortunately, there are some bad temperament genes in the breed's gene pool. Dogs who inherit genes for a high-strung, timid, or suspicious temperament can be just as difficult to live with as those who inherit genes for aggression. Most St. Bernards are fine with other animals when raised with them. But there is some dog aggression, which can be frightening to experience because of this breed's sheer bulk and power. Saints have an independent streak, but they are willing to please if you can establish consistent rules through motivational training methods that include praise and food rewards. Saint Bernards are hard to beat as droolers, slobberers, and loud contented snorers. Saint Bernard Pros 1. Intelligence if you are looking for a witty and intelligent dog breed, this might be a good choice. These dogs are quick learners. 2. Friendly. St. Bernard dogs are usually happy-go-lucky and can gel well with people. Even though this is a very friendly dog and is considered to do very well with children, it is recommended that you do not adopt a St. Bernard if you have very small children at home. Although they are loving and calm, they are large in size and can accidentally hurt your toddlers. 3. Great Watchdogs These dogs may be friendly with their family, but their large size and alertness can mean trouble for burglars. 4. Massive and Powerful 5. Late-back Personality 6. Easy to house train. 7. Kind to almost everyone 8. Friendly 9. Responsive to training 10. Enjoys pulling carts and sleds 11. Likes cold weather 12. Will be happy hanging out with you all day 13. Prefer cold weather St. Bernard Cons 1. Lazy. Most St. Bernard dogs are not active and require a lot of push for exercise. 2. Big size. If you are looking for a compact, small size pet, this might not be the one for you as a St. Bernard is very large and can easily reach all tables. 3. Messy. Cleanliness is not a St. Bernard's forte. They drool often and get their paws dirty in the mud, in turn ruining the house interiors. These dogs also shed a lot. 4. Rowdy when young. 5. Prone to separation anxiety when left alone for long periods. 6. Massive size and uses lots of space home and car. 7. Aggression when not socialized enough. 8. Aggression and fear in some lines. 9. Drooling and slobbering. 10. Short life expectancy. 11. Grooming can be time consuming. 12. Potential for serious health problems. 13. Expensive to feed. 14. Expensive vet bills. 15. Prefer cold weather. Famous St. Bernard dogs. 
Probably the most notable Saint Bernard was the lead dog in the 1992 comedy, Beethoven. Wandering into an unsuspecting home, a Saint Bernard puppy, eventually named Beethoven, ends up as the hero of the movie, saving the daughter's life. Many spin-offs were made because of the adoration millions had for Beethoven the Saint Bernard. Another, more morbidly known Saint Bernard was Stephen King's Cujo. Unfortunately, this friendly canine contracts rabies and terrorizes people all over the town. Saint Bernard Training Large and somewhat stubborn, it is important to begin training your Saint Bernard puppy as early as possible so they adapt quickly. While these puppies tend to mature more slowly than other breeds, St. Bernards are highly intelligent and meant to be trained for working purposes, so they are highly trainable. Make sure to include socialization with other dogs and people into your training regimen. Positive reinforcement and treat rewards are beneficial to making training fun and successful. St. Bernard Maintenance and Grooming St. Bernards are found as having either a short-haired coat or a long-haired coat. Short hairs are smooth with dense fur, while the long hairs offer a soft wave, designed for colder weather. The coloration of their coats is highly distinguishable, featuring a rich ginger red with white or white with ginger red, black accenting their facial structure. Both length of coats shed heavily during the spring and fall seasons and regular grooming is recommended. Ultimately, it may be beneficial to brush your dog thoroughly a couple of times per week to remove any loose hair, helping to keep shedding under control. Apart from regular brushing, St. Bernards have heavy ears, prone to ear infections. Always keep an eye out for head shaking or head tilting, common signs of ear issues, and clean your dog's ears when necessary. Nail maintenance is also important when owning a dog, keeping them short and healthy. Dogs do self-groom, so bathing is only necessary after a good romp in the mud or hardcore play session. To keep their mouths clean, wipe away any excess drool or food particles left over. Lastly, to maintain healthy dental hygiene, brush your dog's teeth every other day with dog-safe toothpaste, keeping their breath smelling fresh and decreasing the chances of gum disease in the future. St. Bernard Common Health Issues all dog breeds are prone to health issues, St. Bernard's included. In particular, this breed is prone to hip and elbow dysplasia, caused by abnormal growth of the bones in the sockets. Osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer, most often impacts the legs of St. Bernard's, though any bone can be affected. Addison's disease is another common occurrence in this breed a condition that affects the adrenal glands and prevents the body from producing hormones correctly. Veterinarians say that most canines suffering from Addison's will only live to be four years old. Common symptoms are nonspecific, ranging from weight loss to vomiting to increased urine output. Final Thoughts The temperament of a Saint Bernard, much like the name suggests, is saint-like. Calm and gentle, this breed is known to be very patient and rarely aggressive around strangers. However, most people are scared of these dogs because of their looming stature. St. Bernard's make excellent family dogs, however, should be carefully considered if the family has small children, as the gentle giant may accidentally harm a small infant. While originally bred to work, St. Bernard's are somewhat lazy dogs, needing a push when it's time for exercise. Most of the work this breed participates in now is therapy work, uplifting people's moods with their relaxed demeanor, loving looks, and cuddly fur. Are you thinking about getting a St. Bernard? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a St. Bernard, please share this with them. If you liked this video check out our website, the link is in the description of this video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.